It once seemed nothing could stop Theodora and Obiang, the son of Equatorial Guinea's longtime president, Theodora Obiang Gema. He has long lived the high life, funded, critics say, by his oil rich country, where most people live in poverty. But justice is catching up to Obiang. He's faced legal action in the United States and Switzerland, forcing him to give up millions of dollars in assets. Last year, a Paris court handed Obiang a three-year suspended sentence and a multi-million dollar fine on charges of plundering his country's wealth to finance his opulent lifestyle here. French authorities have confiscated this mansion in the capital and other luxury goods. Equatorial Guinea is appealing the case in France's highest court. If it loses again, the property, estimated at more than $100 million, would normally go to the French Treasury. But a newly passed measure in France's National Assembly could instead return the assets to poor communities in Equatorial Guinea. It's really important to, to really tell our citizens and the citizens of the world on, in those countries, in, in, in Africa, in Asia, in Latin America, that France and other countries will not allow like dictators or son of dictator to take money that they not their money. And that France will prosecute them, that France will take back this money and that will use this money to do development cooperation. The measure still needs approval by the French Senate. Anti-corruption groups praise the legislation, but argue the language needs to be changed to ensure the assets don't end up back in the hands of corrupt leaders. It's basically saying that the confiscated assets should be returned um, at the closest possible uh, to the population that has been deprived. Um, so. We believe this wording to not be precise enough. Accountability and transparency, this is absent uh, from the law uh, at this point. The legislation could affect other high-profile cases underway here, among them that of Rifat al-Assad, uncle of the Syrian leader Bashar al-Assad. A Paris court sentenced Rifat al-Assad to prison last year for money laundering and misappropriating public funds to buy French real estate. He, too, is appealing his conviction. The Obiang trial started with legal proceedings filed by Sherpa and fellow anti-corruption group Transparency International that also targeted the leaders of Gabon and the Republic of Congo. Some from Equatorial Guinea are following the events closely. This is a family that for 40 years, for four decades, have ruled a country as if it was their own private system without any accountability. So the fact that the French have gone as far as taking this case to the Supreme Court, it's very meaningful. Alicante hopes a final French conviction of Obiang and a new ill-gotten gains law will warn other corrupt leaders from poor countries they could pay heavily for stealing from their people. Lisa Bryant for VOA News, Paris.